Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? John B. Parker here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends update video on the alt account here. We have just hit day 60. I know this is a couple days, whatever. It's not every every week at this point, but nothing really happened. So I uh, figure we'll wait until day 60. We just hit day 60 for y Yaga the Insatiable. Now, from what I understand, Yaga the Insatiable is the most fed champion epic or above i don't know epic maybe not epic maybe it's i think it's maybe it's epic or above he's the most fed champion in the game uh and i'm not 100 percent certain where all that came from so look at all this energy for the next 30 days we're looking at dark athel who is probably also going to be another champion that gets fed but uh, i haven't fed him yet he's sitting right here this guy is the most fed epic champion i would say because everybody gets him after 60 days excuse me excuse me let scratch my scratch my nose um yeah so this guy's not that great 50 percent chance of placing one poison on the a1 not good two times each hit with a 75 percent chance of placing a poison so on a four turn cooldown that's bad four turn every four turns you get two opportunities it's not even 100%. And then damage increases by 25% every four turns on a single target. This guy's supposed to be your clan boss poisoner, but he doesn't place poisons very often. He gets overshadowed by Outlaw Monk for, you know, Outlaw Monk, It's I think it's a three turn cooldown. Uh, Sacred Order, yeah. So, Outlaw Monk right here. This is the, this is like your default. This should be your default poisoner right here for anybody who doesn't have a poisoner so and you need some damage on climb boss this guy right here yeah so a three turn cooldown will just straight up it's not a chance he'll just do it place two poison debuffs on the target for two turns and then his a1 has a chance of granting an extra turn so you have a chance basically you can run him in like a relentless set like an early relentless set and you can just boom there's your damage you know so if you did if you started uh, if you started your game without Kale, then this is the guy you should probably go after is Outlaw Monk. Now, this guy is squishy as all can be, and he doesn't really do a lot of damage with his hits, so lifesteal is not that great unless you get War Master, but that would mean six-starring an uncommon champion who... <sighs> yeah, anyway. Um, when an uncommon is better than an epic that you get for free, and his name is not Ermiger, you kind of have an issue with that uh, epic champion so i think that's why yaga is the most fed champion all right so the updates to this from the last video i believe six star royal guard royal guard was the choice over fane and i don't think high Tomb was even in the option was even an option to six star but in the um in my twitch chat uh twitch chat basically decides who gets six star and whatnot and royal guard got the upgrade so I put him in this. I wanted to get him some damage. So yes, he's in an HP chest, but that's what I have. So I put him in crit damage gloves and then I just tried to stack as much crit rate as I could with attack and accuracy. So crit damage gloves. Uh, I got some speed, some crit rate here. I got some crit rate, I got some speed. This chest plate because of its double crit rate roll is why I did that. We got crit rate and accuracy here and then I got speed with the double crit rate roll. These are a good pair of boots. I like these boots. These boots will probably be on this account for a, quite a while. Uh, I didn't get a crit damage amulet, but this has got a double roll of accuracy and hey, it's an extra you know, 11 crit damage. And attack is not necessarily the worst thing put on him. At least this is not an HP or a defense one, which would pretty close to be useless. Uh, and then I got attack with triple defense rolls. It's not a great ring, but it's better than, it's the only attack ring I have, so. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Royal Guard does some does some work for me in Spider. And Dragon, I want to say, as well. Uh, so we're getting very, very close to the point where Kale's going to be almost useless. Still can't get a banner for him. I got this banner here, HP. And I got this banner here, HP. He needs an accuracy banner in the worst way. Uh, so one thing that he has become useless for me is he's no longer my campaign farmer. Deliana comes in to do Sage 12-6. 
and she just does it faster. It's it's I mean Kale Kale's best case is eight seconds. Deliana's best case is also eight seconds, but Kale's worst case scenario is about 25 seconds. Deliana's worst case scenario is about 14. So Deliana comes in and she is now my campaign farmer. Running her still in lifesteal with some speed. Um, she's wearing an attack banner, but it's what I have. You know, that's what I have. I got a uh, five star crit damage amulet here and HP ring because she has HP based. So HP chest, speed boots, crit rate gauntlets, 100% crit, not as much crit damage because she's running crit rate gloves, but 52,000 HP uh, is basically her attack. So that's really good. And I switched up her masters, I believe, to put her into, you know, give her a whirlwind of death and spirit haste, which is what a campaign farmer needs. So yeah, I mean, there you go. It is what it is. Kale is, you know, if it wasn't Kale, it would be um, Elhane or Aethel or Gaelic even has basically kind of sort of almost become useless. Once Fane, once I get Fane to six star, I get her Warmaster uh, and then I can get her fully booked, which is going to be quite a bit actually because epic books are a little harder to come by on a lower level account. She will come in and she will be my clan boss poisoner defense down weaken i think she's also got decreased attack uh she got decreased attack two poisons defense down weaken she's really good and she will come in and kale will no longer run in she will no longer run or kale will no longer run in climb boss so at that point kale will just basically be doris faction wars uh Deliana is not booked by the way i have a few books on her she's not fully booked so two i'm missing the cooldown there I'm missing the extra buff here for block buffs and the cooldown there. So, yeah. Now, you may be asking, well, doesn't Kale use an arena? No, I have Yukaro. Kale sort of still does arena, but it is what it is. Um, he's just he's just gotten he's just gotten power crept by the champion. I pulled Yukaro, so Yukaro's a AOE glaciate will freeze. I can steal turn meter, freeze. And then I can kill people. So it is what it is. Um, that's it. We haven't really made any progress anywhere else. Everything else is just kind of status quo. But, uh, you know, you keep pulling champions. Uh, one other champion I did pull. I pulled Grizzled Jarl. Grizzled Jarl is a good champion. Block debuffs. Increased defense. Um, so if I need a little bit more tanky team, then I throw him in. Uh, but, you know, we're just working on him slowly. Got him in a little bit of gear. That's about it. We're working on food champions. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this Fragment Summon champion that's working on right now that just popped out. Um, Nagor Nagorio, I want to say. What's his name? Nagorio. Yeah. Um, it'd be nice to have, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. So with that being said, that's the account. We're, we're, we're just climbing up. We're just climbing up. All right. John B. Parker signing off. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. Love you. Bye.